to play. Let's go out to play. Toto, we're going through a special time right now. Everyone should stay at home. Look, you don't see many people outside, right? Yeah, why? It's because people are protecting themselves from the 2019 novel coronavirus. Novel coronavirus? Yes, and it all started a long time ago. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was an evil family of viruses called the coronavirus. All members of this family have crown-like spikes. They are very powerful and sneaky. Coronaviruses can wear all kinds of masks to disguise themselves and harm both animals and humans. Recently, coronaviruses have been very busy mutating. Initially, they only used to infect wild animals, but this no longer satisfied their ambitions. They wanted to expand their family so they mutated into the novel coronavirus. Unsuspecting people who came into contact with these infected wild animals gave viruses the opportunity to enter human bodies. When the novel coronavirus enters a person's body, it spends two to 14 days observing its new environment. This is called the incubation period during which people may not feel sick at all. However, the body's immune system army recognizes the invaders. When evil germs enter the body, the immune system army will try its best to protect us. So, the virus and the immune system army go to war. The new coronavirus is very powerful, so during combat, the body may have fever, tiredness, <coughs> coughing, and difficulty breathing. If you notice these symptoms, you should go to the doctor immediately. The doctor and nurses will join your immune system army to fight the novel coronavirus. But the sneakiest thing about the novel coronavirus is that it is much more contagious than the other viruses. Contagious? The novel coronavirus mainly infects people through fluid droplets from the respiratory tract. When we talk, sneeze, or cough, we spray out saliva. and the virus takes this opportunity to infect more people. Also, it can spread through close contact with people who carry the virus. So, Toto, do you know which tool we should use to stop the virus from spreading? A, a hat, B, Socks, C, masks, D, plastic bags. Masks! That's right! Masks can help protect us from airborne saliva that carry viruses. Wearing a mask not only protects you and others around you, but it also reduces the chance of spreading the virus. Also, we should try to stay at home because we don't know where the sneaky novel coronavirus is hiding. It could be hiding on the playground, a bus seat, or even a door handle. But if we must go outside, we should... One, wear a mask and gloves. Two, not touch our eyes, mouth, nose, or the outside of our mask. Three, wash our hands thoroughly after returning home. Our hands are most likely to come in direct contact with the virus, so we must wash them with soap to keep them clean. Four, 
Stay away from crowded areas as much as possible. Inside! Let's stay inside! <laughs> Great job, Toto! During this time, we should all eat lots of fruits and veggies and get enough rest to build a strong immune system. If you do get sick, don't worry. Your parents and doctors will help you get rid of the virus. Even though you can't go outside to play, Dr. Panda is with you and believes that you can keep yourself safe at home. Let's fight the virus together. Yeah! Search for Dr. Panda.